Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for a planner flip through. So bestie, we are flipping through the last quarter of 2023 in my 2023 planner and I'll be showing you how all of my spreads turned out and what I learned from this last quarter. So if you want to see my planner spreads and just how my creativity evolved, then you already know. Stay tuned. Okay, bestie so let's jump right into it so what I have here is my classic happy planner this is the horizontal layout that I used all last year and you guys if you want to go back and see the first three quarters of the year just how my planner turned out I already have those flip throughs up on the channel and everything so definitely check it out there so y'all the fact that it's 2024 is just tickling me okay so we're gonna flip through october november and december of 2023 so we can talk about my spreads and just kind of how i evolved okay like what i learned from last quarter because i feel like checking in on your planner every so often i like to do this quarterly just to kind of see like where i'm at where i want to grow um do i want to try other things like in a creative way do i want to try something different things like that i do a little checkpoints with myself so this is kind of my way of doing that and then also i hardly ever well sometimes i've been doing more of more after the pen videos recently however I don't always show you guys all of the after the pins, especially if I did like a before the pin spread to them um, on YouTube. So this is kind of my way to like bring you guys, you know, full circle with how the spread actually turned out. So also check out my channel for any plan with me's to see how I created these spreads and then this is going to show you how I use them. Okay, so starting out with October, we have my October monthly overview page and everything. And I, well, some people call this a currently page, but I didn't really use it for that 100% this month. So what I did use to create the page, I used, I believe these florals are from Amber Plants Her Day. Can't remember the exact book, you guys, but I believe they are from her. And then I know this doll and all of these little cups and this quote, these quotes are from Rong Rong. And I believe the doll is from the Wild Style Collection. And so how I use the page, you guys, I tried to document the things that I had going on in October. And it was a lot. Like we had my homecoming, we had the state fair, we had football games that we were going to, we had some traveling to do in October. Um, I even put down y'all shows that I wanted to watch. I put shows and movies, okay? However, I didn't watch movies. I mainly watched the shows. So like The Golden Bachelor, like I was so intrigued by that show, y'all. I was like, at first, I was like, is this, are they going to do this right? Like, you know, but then, like, they, I feel like they did so good. And those women, oh, my gosh. I thought I was impressed with Gary, but, like, the women on the show come through, ladies. Okay, so I don't know if y'all watched The Golden Bachelor, but that was a whole thing. And then I was binge watching this series called Suits. Yeah, I became a, addicted to that show. And then I was watching Zatima because, like, I love the whole couple vibe and the chemistry that they have as actors okay and actresses so those were the shows i watched and then also i made like a little goal list so i wanted to work out and set a bedtime i just feel like that's one goal that i continue to write down y'all and it happens sometimes but the majority of my life getting in the bed by 11 o'clock it's like unheard of okay normally i'm cleaning the kitchen around 11 o'clock at night or i'm doing something around the house to prepare to get in the bed by 12 <laughs> okay so y'all it's, it's the whole thing okay so that's how i use this it was more so like to get the get my month out and get things that i need to do now this shopping list i didn't really check off a lot here but i wrote it down okay and i actually got some stuff I don't know i just didn't revisit this so yeah that's something that i can definitely do better at and revisit my planner a little bit more but it didn't happen 
for me to check it off or these goals y'all okay so moving over to the monthly calendar for october my monthly view i love my monthly view for this one you guys i did like a pink thing you know because pink in october and i use the kill of a plan fall florals i believe and y'all the pinks the pumpkins it just is so pretty to me even like this light purple because i have this washi from planet thing and then i used some quotes out of a fall um i believe it was the fall box that kill of a plan released that sticker book had quotes in them and so that's how this spread came to life you guys and of course i just planned it out and then wrote out all of the things and as y'all can see october was pretty busy i had quite a few events here that um we had going on and things like things for church we travel we had football games like football game football game travel uh birthday party church event church event like it was a lot church event like a lot of things going on the fair just different stuff okay so to the first week of october you guys okay so the first week was actually my alma mater's uh homecoming and our school colors are black and gold and so i wanted to do like a black and gold theme and i did get these flowers out of an amber plants her day sticker book and i paired it with some wrong wrong because i kind of did that twice this month paired it with some wrong wrong dolls i believe these dolls are from the goals i believe no heels and hustle sticker book and so that's where all the heels come in into play and so i did like something fun here okay that i really loved in this planner spread and um that is when i wrote in my boxes i used a colored pen you guys and i used this gold pen here and as you can see like i just loved how it like brought a, a different layer to the spread so i really enjoyed that um but it was just my traditional week honestly like i had my nephew he had a football game, so we went to that. Um, I had lunch with my husband, had a nail appointment, okay, gotta get the nails done. And then um, it was my husband's high school homecoming, which fun fact, their school colors was also black and gold. So he never switched up with colors, y'all. <laughs> and so then it was our um, college homecoming. And then I kind of wrote like the itinerary of some of the things that were happening. Um, for the day so I could kind of remember what was going on and had a church event and everything so yeah y'all and I used a bunch of like little icons black and white black and gold icons I even had some little circle quotes that I threw in the mix and everything and y'all I call these space fillers like whenever I'm like I love the look of a full spread but I love a neat spread I love for the spread to look used you know but at the same time I like for it to stay neat However, whenever I have like these super empty blank spaces and stuff and I've wrote in things that I'm doing for the day and everything, all things are done, then I'll find like something motivational like that to just throw in the mix or whatever for myself. So it's like I pick good morning because I wrote this out clearly on a morning. Okay, so um, yeah, on that morning. Okay, so next, the next spread, you guys, is one of my most favorite spreads that I think I've ever created. And honestly, it's because it's, it's using my favorite, my new favorite sticker book. Okay, like, I knew I was going to love this sticker book, okay, because I've loved every edition that they've come out with, or every, like, similar sticker book that they've come out with, with this title, and that is Farmhouse, you guys. This is the Modern Form House. I believe the new one. Because I think they used that name before. And it's from the Happy Planner. And y'all, these fruits down the middle. Come on. Like, are they not precious? Like, they are so pretty to me. And y'all, I really want to use this book again. Like, so I got to pull it out. But, oh my goodness. This was, a book, this was one of those books that I was like, you are dupe worthy, okay? Dupe worthy. That's probably a fun video that I need to do. Like, dupe worthy sticker books, okay? Because this right here, oh, I just need more of these. It's just, I want to use them in so many different ways, you know? And so, the first way I decided to use them was down the middle. I hadn't done a spread like this, I feel like, in a while. Like, 
all the way down the middle so this kind of brought me back into loving that and then I paired it with my favorite washi y'all and then just used some functional boxes I just made my four clusters I love this spread okay here's another thing that I love about this spread I tried to do like my traditional like outlining font however what I learned from the previous spread and I carried it over into this one was I used my paper bait flare and instead of just writing with it one time I like I outlined it or I should say I made it thicker y'all that makes it pop a little bit more and so it gives a contrast to the things that you're trying to like write in so like things that I wanted to highlight I love these for that like love love these for that like even if I don't use a box if I still want it to be highlighted like tracing it or like making the um, lettering thicker and y'all you can use your plain handwriting okay like your plain handwriting to do this because that's exactly what I did I didn't try to do anything fancy with it I just tried to take my handwriting and then made it, make it thicker and that will make it pop you know and so I love that I did, I did that I don't know that might not be a new discovery for anybody else but for me I was like oh, I like this okay I like this a lot so I, it kind of became a theme throughout this last quarter of the year okay so this was just another busy week in the life of kenya okay another busy week i was getting chores done i was getting errands done i was going to meetings i had a hair appointment i had um i cooked dinner and all these things oh y'all something really fun that happened this week um I did share this on YouTube, but I made a burger board for our charcuterie party for our like group, small group for church. And y'all, it turned out so good. And in terms of what I mean, so good. Yes, the aesthetics looked pretty cute to me. However, the food, like that burger was so bomb. Okay, so go look at my shorts, y'all, and check that out because that burger was fire. The and everybody loved it but it turned out so fun i got it off of pinterest like the idea and then i just kind of like mixed and matched some stuff for myself but love love loved how it turned out we went to jackson state's homecoming that was really fun we went to the state fair this week as well and we went to like a fun um high school football game like a very popular one that's like in our state um rival schools so that was really cool okay so to the next spread you guys this one i used a back to school um release sticker book from the happy planner this is the wild animal wild style it's gone wild gone wild <laughs> i think it's gone wild you guys from the happy planner um but it is a like teacher sticker book and so but i wanted to use it because i like the colors and everything of it and so I did something, I tried to do something fun with the little petals that were included in the sticker book. And then I used two long, um, what are these, long curved boxes. And then this doll is from the Red Lyrics Etsy shop. And I just thought her camouflage went so cute with this color palette. And so, yes, it was like a busy week okay um for some reason i cooked breakfast um we met with some friends and i wrote this big quote like get get it done today i like to write in quotes to you guys because sometimes i have to like find ways to kind of like you know get out of my head and this is like a little note to myself and i use my planner for that okay and my journal too but i really i use both of them i will write in myself little mental notes so I can get encouraged okay and sometimes you just got to be your own cheerleader okay comment below if you know okay so then we I did put oh this morning was scary but I didn't write what happened it's probably in my journal okay nine times out of ten is in my journal so this is like a little note like girl go see what you did <laughs> go see what happened then we had potato bar night for our small group and everything and then it was just another week oh we went to atlanta for the weekend that was really really fun like definitely a highlight of 2023 hands down we really enjoyed ourselves um at mit and then let's see yeah it was just another week y'all had a hair appointment <laughs> no and i had to reschedule it 
Okay, so I use this little reschedule sticker probably for the next week. Okay, so to the next spread, you guys, I decided to do, I wanted to do like a breast cancer um, awareness type spread and I was able to pull this out. I used this washi tape. Um, I believe this washi tape is from the Daily Grind, I believe, or it may not be from the Daily Grind. It may be from Happy Planner. I can't remember which company, but I did like some washi art where I drew, I like hand drew this ribbon and I outlined it and then I just cut the washi out. Like I layered the washi and then I took my X-Acto knife and I cut it out so I could trace and get just the washi in the actual ribbon. So I thought that was fun and I paired this with this whole like idea with the butterfly sticker book from the Happy Planner. The Happy Planner had just released it. And I thought these pink butterflies were so pretty. And y'all, I'm actually using the 2024 Butterfly Planner. So I just thought these butterflies were so pretty to go with the pink to honor breast cancer awareness. And y'all, for I did use, like, try to pull in some fun um, or some motivating, you know, empowering quotes. And so I was able to find some that had, like, a little pink mixed in with it. So, and I used a bunch of pink icons. To make this come to life and we were coming back from Atlanta on that Monday and then we had a partner meeting on Tuesday and when I say partner meeting I like my business partners because like we have like our own office right and so we also are in the office with um two other couples and so we all meet you know like your business stuff and so we call those partner meetings versus business meetings and so that's what that is. We had a, a church event, um, Love Your Neighbor, where we get to love, like my church um, adopts a, I wanted to say middle school so bad, but it is not a middle school. It is an elementary school. And we do things like with the kids and stuff. Like we try to do a Love Your Neighbor events and stuff and love on the kids there. And it was really, really fun. The kids are always so fun and everything. And I had a nail appointment that day. Had lunch with teammates here. We had a movie night at home. And uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, we had meetings and stuff, like me and my husband. Um, football shows that I watched and everything. So this was just really a week of getting back from traveling. You know how you have to just get readjusted? That's what this was. I did have a day off though, like a rest day. Cause I said, cause girl, you have been going. <laughs> and here was my hair appointment that I had to reschedule. I rescheduled it a week later. Okay, so boom. Okay, so now we're to November, you guys. Okay, and November, I used the Cheerful Seasons sticker book to create like this look this little side collage i believe i did this on the channel y'all and then i just did some boxes because i just wanted to fill in birthdays and like family things and so we had some family stuff that we were wanting to do this month and then of course a gratitude list and y'all this here i did i feel like i did not write the neatest do y'all ever feel like that in your planner like my girl take your time and that's one of the keys to like I know for me to writing as neat as possible slow down slow down and write everything if you're trying to practice a particular font and I am preaching to myself you guys write use that font for everything that you write unless you know obviously if it's not professional or whatever to write in that font if you're at work don't do that but I'm saying like Whatever you're writing, like if you're writing little sticky notes to yourself, you're writing notes to your kids, your spouse, whatever, write in that font. That's a way to enhance and practice your handwriting as well as your hand lettering and any fonts that you're trying to learn. So, or try to get, trying to get better at. So, but I just felt like here is a great example of slow down, ma'am. Okay. And I just feel like it just didn't look. It didn't look good. It just, I feel like I messed up the spread with my handwriting, y'all. And that's just me being transparent, okay? Okay, so now we're to November, and I feel like I redeemed myself 
okay i feel better about this spread here this is my december monthly spread and calendar and so i used you guys some brown planetine washi and i used the i believe these are i don't know the exact name but i want to say winnie and friends um, but anyway, it is the Winnie the Pooh sticker book from the Happy Planner. And they have these black blackout characters or outlined characters. And I just thought they were so cute. And so I wanted to add in something fun to the spread and kind of like make it be a thing. And so I went with this whole Friendsgiving vibe and like Winnie the Pooh and all, you know, her, her friends. Okay. Tigger is my absolute favorite. Okay. He is. So... I just thought they were cute, so I decided to put them down. And then I also used some Kill of a Plan uh, fall quotes and, like, other little, like, holidays and stuff. I used some um, alpha stickers from her as well. I believe all these might be Happy Planner. Um, but, yeah, so November was really fun, y'all. Like, we had a family day where my family, they're cowboy fans. I'm not. I'm an Eagles fan. So it was like our little rivalry game. So that was um, fun to get together with them. I went to a Miss America preliminary pageant this month and everything. I had, of course, meetings and appointments and stuff. And uh, we had another conference. I had um, a lunch date with my best friend. <laughs> Um, just a fun month, I feel like. Uh, a very, a good fun month, okay? So, we're going to get into the spreads. Okay, so y'all, I love this spread, and y'all probably know why, okay? I love it because it's purple, first of all, okay, the purple florals. But I try to keep this spread really simple, okay? And sometimes simple is very, very clean, and it, it's, it gives, okay? It gives a whole, a whole vibe, a whole look, right? So... For this spread, I used some Kill of a Plan watercolor florals, okay? And I used a couple of the autumn um, or fall quotes out of the fall box sticker book. And I paired it with a Red Lyrics doll. And the boxes accompanied the florals. And then I used these planetine orange and purple washi tapes. And then I used black and white icons, y'all, to bring this to life. And boom. And I, I mean, I found a quote in this purple color. And I just love it, you guys. I think one of my favorite things, though, about it is the florals are all balance. It's not too much floral. It's a punch. Of, it's just a punch, like a pop of floral. The florals make a statement. However, they're not, like, all over the spread. I did pop two in here, just two small ones. But if you don't look closely, you'll miss them. You know, but they're there just in case you're looking for a little bit more. I gave it to you. Okay. And then we have these big numbers, you guys. That's my favorite thing. I was like, I got to do this again. I have to do this again. And I believe these numbers are out of the dates and numbers sticker book from Kill of a Plan. And I was so happy to find some in the purple. Okay. So this red just makes me happy. So for this week what all did i do okay we did definitely had the family day here went to church with my mom um we had dinner we had a um event saturday um oh me and my husband we worked on our 90 day game plan like we have like our little marriage meetings y'all like where you sit down with your spouse and you okay where are we going what are we doing what are we buying <laughs> all of that stuff marriage things i guess you could call it and then we also work together so it's like business is mixed in there too and then it was just a week in the life you guys we went to baton rouge this week as well but just a general week i was just getting the regular smuggler errands done and some of my weekly to do's that i feel like i do every week like clean up and water my plants they're on here so yeah this was a good week but i love the spread Okay, so for the next week, you guys, I used the, I believe this is the Love Every Season, or This Is Your Year, that Squad Goals collection, the last one that released from the Happy Planner. I used these because I was doing a challenge with um, some of my friends over on Instagram. We were part of this group called the International Planner um, HP Collab. 
I believe that's, did I mess up our hashtag? I don't know, y'all go to my Instagram to see it, but we every month we pick a theme, and I highly recommend doing like planner challenges, you guys, especially if you're new to like the planner community and everything. You wanna get involved, like participate in some of the planner challenges because that will help you get to know people, and it will also expand your creativity. It'll kinda get you thinking out of the box, like how can I bring this theme to life in my planner for the week? So I love that. The theme for this particular month, for November was like cozy cozy something y'all I cannot remember the exact name but it was definitely cozy and so I was trying to find stickers where all the girls were cozy and everything and I feel like I nailed it like she just looks extra cozy to me and she does too in this chair and everything and it was like it's fall y'all and y'all I feel like fall is one of those seasons that I try my best to like pour myself into because I'm always normally sad that summer, my favorite season is over. So it's like, Kenya, indulge into the fall things. Enjoy the season, okay? Enjoy the season. God created seasons, and you can enjoy every season, okay? So I'm like telling myself that. So I try to like put those things in my planner. It was election day this um, November, so we had to go vote. That was pretty big. For the week, um, more meetings and house church and stuff, gathering with, gathering with friends. This is the Saturday that I went to the um, preliminary Miss America pageant. And that was pretty cool to see, you guys. Like, that was something from my childhood, like being in pageants. And technically, it's not a pageant. It's a program. Okay. Um, but being a part of those things, like I was a part of the Junior Miss program um, in high school and everything and it's like it just got me back into wanting be wanting to be involved in more of those i like absolutely love it so that's a thing oh what else did i do this week the regular stuff y'all tracking my packages because i'm like where's my stuff i need my happy meal okay so <laughs> okay it's so funny that i just went through that whole feel of how fall and then bam Okay, I'm giving summer the next week, okay? And just to be honest with you, you guys, I really wanted to use these stickers, okay? I just wanted to use them. Okay, so this is the Tiny Florals sticker book. And it had just released, and I was itching for some pop, okay? And I just was like, well, this is a new sticker book. I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And it gave me the color that I needed, okay? Now, even though it's called Tiny Florals, I didn't really use a lot of florals, you guys. I really, I could, because I was trying to say, okay, can you, it's not summertime. Don't go all the way in. So, I tried to focus more so on these circle quotes. I used four of them. And I tried to use full color boxes to, like, accompany that. But, y'all, the color just, it livened me up. It was what I needed. Sometimes you just, you got to go off season, okay? You got to just not be in season <laughs> in your planner that is anyway okay and you can do what you want okay i'm a big advocate do what you want you don't have to do what the calendar says do or you don't have to plan seasonally you can plan what you want and this is definitely one of those weeks okay so for the week itself I use these like three track, like these three top three boxes. And I actually think I cut these down because they were like longer circular boxes. But I like these. I really like these stickers. So that was fun. Okay, so here for the week, we had meetings and chores. It was just another week in the life, you guys. Nail appointment. Like, I feel like I get my nail, I get my nails done. I feel like not every two weeks, but sometimes it's every two weeks. But I'm always. I try to keep them neat for y'all. Um, and then, too, I just, I like the look of having my nails done anyway. But we had Friendsgiving at House Church, and that was so good, okay? Y'all, let me give y'all, like, a little tip, okay? And I'm pretty sure everybody does this. Technically, you've probably had this for, like, Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving. But, like, for me, what me and my husband brought to Friendsgiving, I didn't have time to, like, cook something. So, I went to Sam's. And y'all know how Sam's has those rotisserie chickens? Baby, I sliced that thing like a turkey, okay, and laid it out on a platter. I put some little rosemary around it and a little couple of oranges and things to give it that fall festive look. And they thought it was turkey. <laughs> And I told him it wasn't turkey. I told him it was chicken, but they thought it was. So I was like, "That's what you do when you're when you don't have time." 
Okay, so I also did, we got, we had leftovers because I clearly wrote that down and had a lunch date with my husband. Um, and we try to do those, you guys, because sometimes we don't get a date night in. So we at least try to do lunch to where we can kind of like <sighs> meet up and not talk about all the other stuff we got going on and just like love on each other. So really cute. I had a ring inspection. It was my uncle's birthday. And we had, oh, we didn't get to go to this. Actually, this whole week, we didn't go to our regional meeting either. Um, I can't remember if I got sick or something happened. Something happened to where we ended up Saturday. We couldn't do most of the stuff that we need to do. So, um, I did do some chores that I didn't check off. Or, no, maybe this whole day just got canceled because I didn't check anything off here. And then the Southern Miss football game was that Saturday morning. I think we might have had that plan on the TV because we did not go to it. And it was we wasn't going to be able to go anyway because we were supposed to be in New Orleans. I just remember that. I don't know. It's something definitely happened. Though. I think I got a little cold. I think that's what it was. And y'all, for some reason, whenever I get a cold, I like to just be at home most of the time and then i did finish watching some shows and catching up i was watching dancing with the stars because i was a big charity fan um from the bachelorette you guys but then i also like some other girls on there too so actually one of the girls that i love um she won it so fun and we had a lot of releases here we had the daily a daily grind release a heavy planner release and a killable plan release and so they were all fun collections so just a fun spread then we come to my thanksgiving spread you guys and i use the kill of a plan fall icons i think volume two but it's the latest one that she released and y'all i knew i had was i had been saving it okay because i knew i wanted to use this like that food theme i knew i wanted to put it in the middle so y'all can kind of see what it looks like and everything and I kind of tried to bring it up some just a little bit versus down because I wanted like more room for Thursday and everything but it ended up working out okay and I just did clusters normally whenever I go through the middle I always like to surround it by clusters and I just feel like that it helps me maximize the space in my horizontal you guys I feel like the horizontal though as you can see my planner is jam-packed okay like I have I put put this is my catch-all so I put everything in here and then of course you know I have my specific planners for specific things like prime example when it's time for me to do the content creation task on my in my catch-all I flip to my social media planner so that way I can do the things that I need to do for content and same thing with like my office work I flip to my business planner to do the things that I need to do for it so but for the most part this is everything okay so this was a fun week because it was thanksgiving and of course we got work done for the first part of the week i was trying to like stay on top of stuff we went to a restaurant in richland i believe or it might be florence it's probably florence and i probably wrote richland but it's a really popular restaurant in the jackson metro area if you're ever in mississippi and you like some southern food go to berries and I had a lunch date with my best friend, y'all, because we were um, celebrating. We had planned this. Y'all know meeting up with your friends can be like, it can be a task, okay? Trying to get everybody's schedules together. And her birthday was like in September. And y'all, we had planned. We did actually do something for her birthday with a group. We wanted to do something, you know, kind of a little bit more, you know, just me and her. So we went there. To lunch and then it was thanksgiving and i got to see like all of my cousins well a lot of them a lot of them came home for thanksgiving so that was so nice and then i got to go see my goddaughter and spend the weekend with her and we tried the new um we had my husband had never tried a sam's burger in the jackson metro area that's another thing and then we went to a football game with her and then we went to the bayou classic you guys that was my first time going to the bayou classic i always do like the mississippi version of 
the classic um is which our version is jackson state versus alcorn state and they are southern university versus gremlin state and y'all that game that experience was amazing hands down amazing we really enjoyed ourselves and i just think it's gonna be something i do every year because like if i can make it happen like i just love the bayou classic so we really enjoyed that and i actually did like a little mini vlog on that if y'all want to go see the experience um then we came back and kind of got back in the groove and reset for the week sunday reset <laughs> and we had brunch also and so yeah another fun good week this is thanksgiving week in the life okay y'all so now to another one of my favorite spreads from the quarter and you guys i love this okay so this is from amber plants her day christmas essentials all of these little icons and so i wanted to border the page right and this is one of those spreads i was like girl why didn't you film this now y'all did not film this spread I, f I should have i should have but y'all it turned out and i'm gonna have to recreate it in some way but y'all it turned out so cute the icons they, themselves and the stickers are so cute right so they're giving like a bakery gingerbread man and like honestly i love gingerbread man for holiday time like it's like my favorite thing you know out of all the holiday you know commercialism i like the gingerbread stuff and i like the bakery stuff and i don't know maybe that's because i like to eat hot chocolates and all that stuff like that so this spread just spoke to me so i boarded the spread though to tell you how i did it she does have um i believe these are what is the name of this sticker book hold on you guys let me see if i can find the name of it i believe it is called Bujo essentials rainbow um sticker book um by amber plants her day i actually have it right here let me grab it so y'all can see it but it's a rainbow book and it just has like all of these ripped pages and things for you already kind of preset and so i use the red ones and i put them in my corner and then I bordered the rest of the page with these Christmas essential icons. And then y'all did these like little dots to kind of like show that they're connecting. You know, sprinkle a little dust. Okay, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, a little um, like gl not glitter, but edible um, sprinkles. Edible glitter sprinkles. <laughs> Putting it around it. And y'all, I just love it. I use these uh, baking related quotes from her sticker book as well and it turned out so cute so for the week you guys it was my grandmother's birthday and i found her a chocolate cake and i just i was so happy about that because like my grandmother is amazing okay first of all i love her i just i adore her and she um bakes all of her grandchildren their favorite cakes every holiday y'all and she's a sweetheart she just she does that for us and i just love that i'm so grateful for her and just all that she's poured into our family and just all that she is to our family and so her cakes is always so special to me and so this like finding a chocolate cake sticker out of the tiny happy planner sticker book i was able to trim it and just make it chocolate purely chocolate it just it made me so happy i don't know just it's a thing I mean, it's me and her thing she knows i absolutely love okay love 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 her chocolate cake that she makes me and my cousins but she also makes them their favorites too and and my mama and aunties and uncles i guess i gotta throw her children in the mix too but i believe she do it for the grandkids okay then i wrote myself like this little quote like let's get it get it get it <laughs> let's get 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 it girl read your writing okay I'm trying to motivate myself y'all throwing that little stuff in here um now for this spread though i love that i pulled in these black and white boxes because it kind of broke up that color and it played on these dots to me so just from an aesthetic point of view i just felt like that was a great addition it gave something a little bit different um as far as to help balance the spread but then it still allowed the red and green and all the icons to be the central point so love that and this week was just fun it was also my brother-in-law's birthday um i had a meeting and then we um got to watch the high school championship 
here like we have a lot of friends that have kids that were playing in it so that was really cool um we also watch football y'all watch football every week okay if it's football season love football um we went to a baby shower and actually my friend she just had the baby and we had a date night in where we watched christmas movies and everything and we had burgers for dinner <laughs> Just another week in the life, y'all. Love, love, but I love this spread. Okay, y'all, so now we're to December. December 2023, last month of the year, and what did we do? Okay, so I used, these are some Kill of a Plan Christmas florals. I believe the last, the most recent Christmas floral release, and I paired them with some Wrong Wrong Dolls, y'all. Um... My Wrong Wrong Dolls matched perfectly, and they are from a winter sticker pack, and it really is like holiday too, but it was winter related. I forget the exact name of this one. I got it a while ago, but I'm pretty sure she still has it on her shop if it's not sold out. And then I paired it with some quotes from the Christmas Essential sticker book from Amber Plans Her Day. And y'all, I just use this as basically a big checklist and monthly overview that's just really how i've been loving using these pages and so this is what i got going on this month this is the thing these are the things that i need to do and then here are the birthdays that i got for this month it was a lot of birthdays i felt like my my other best friend's birthday as well as we want to see some christmas lights and stuff and bake some goodies and so i was just planning out the stuff and then prepping for 2024 Okay, so getting into December. Okay, so y'all, I feel like I have been doing really good with my monthly calendar, right? December, your girl fell off. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay, I fell off because I got sick. Okay, and you know, when you don't feel good, it took me about a week to get over it. I mean, I just... I just didn't use it as much as I should have or could have. It just didn't happen. Okay, but what I did use to create it was the seasonal monthly sticker book from Kell of a Plan. Um, and I hadn't used this like Christmas theme in it. And I paired it with some wrong wrong dolls. And this is from another, I believe that went same winter pack had this red and green thing in it too or maybe it's a different pack but i like that these girls are like in this ski suit but they're in red and green and then she's like in a holiday sweater and so i thought it was it was a fun spread i mean i did these little like um ornaments <laughs> yeah i can't think of that for anything um but these little ornaments and everything so yeah i got sick though this month so let's slip through this the week so we can talk about it Okay, so for the first week, I pulled back out. No, you guys, I used the Happy Holidays. I was about to say Squad Girls or Squad Goals sticker book. But these, this is the Happy Holidays book. And it actually released in 2022 um, as a Be Happy box. And I, this is one of those sticker books that I wanted them to just sell, okay? Because I just thought it was so cute. It has Thanksgiving um stickers in there as well as Christmas as well as um like new year prep stuff so I thought it was cute so I pulled that out to use and I just did you know some circle boxes some quotes did a little bit of layering here uh, I think I may have may have done this one on the channel the washi tape stripe and everything and it was just a regular week in the life y'all I had a hair appointment <laughs> I had errands um I went to the Aldi grand opening that um they opened a new Audi in my area so that was nice um and I did like a little a real a shop with me real there I had a nail appointment as well got my Christmas nails okay and I believe this is when I tried a new shape it is when I tried this new shape because I normally like to do square but my nail um tech she was like let's try almond this time and I let her do it so that happened. It was my mom's birthday. We went to New Orleans and we went to, back to the Superdome <laughs> and we were able to see um, my husband's little cousin. He was playing in their high school championship um, game. So we went there to support him. And y'all, that was such a cool experience because he is, well, 
I guess you could say now he was getting recruited. He's committed now, but to a school. But he was getting recruited by all of these power five schools, right? And just to see them like show up and like y'all, they were so nice to us and like to the family and stuff. And I guess it just makes sense because I mean they're trying to recruit him to come to their school. But it was really cool to see like you know some of the bigger schools and just how they do it and everything. And like we took pictures and they were just really cool people though. I can really say I just feel like he had some great options to pick from. All of the schools are amazing and everything. So it was really cool to see and be there to support him um and just get to see him experience that you know he's been traveling around the nation all year you know for a while now and so going to different schools and stuff and they've been doing some really cool things for him and his immediate family so to get there and just kind of see it in person was really really cool okay so after that y'all it was like we had Oh, I did like a big thing because it was the Eagles versus Cowboy game. But this time, me and my husband watched it at home. I made us a little charcuterie board. We had a house church celebration. They gave us charcuterie boards for gifts. Um, and y'all, I did one. And this is the night. That Sunday night is when I started feeling bad. Start, I got sick, y'all. And also that night, I did not film this spread, but I created this spread, Okay created the spread y'all so this is the next spread this is also one of my favorites from the year and i we were this is another one of those challenges from the international um hp planner collab and we wanted to do like best of 2023 and so like you were supposed to do something either like a memory or like your most favorite spread and one of my favorite spreads that i created this year was my 9 11 spread and it dealt with like the black um silhouette or the black um city skyline and so i thought it would be really cool to do something similar and i printed out the silhouette of the um nativity scene is silhouette the right word well i guess silhouette of the people in this case would work um but i did like this nativity scene and i printed out a simple one and not one with all the animals because i was like i don't know if i would have room and then of course y'all i did my clusters okay that's just like a a, a, like a no-brainer for me at this point like I know I'm gonna do clusters around it and it always makes it look so balanced when you have something in the center like this and I did it more towards the bottom because I wanted to look like things were kind of like haloing around it and I so I put these little stars around it and I wrote this quote with my gold pen for unto us a child is born and that is Isaiah 9 and 6 and then I used um some neutral I believe there is neutral basics from Kelova Plan Boxes. Paired it with my favorite washi. And then I also pulled from the um, Kelova Plan Christmas icons, I believe. Or is this Amber Planter Day? I pulled these gifts from somewhere. I think it was out of Kelova Plan. And to make it come to life, because I just felt like. You know, Jesus was our, like is a gift to us, and so I thought that made sense. And so for this week, you guys, I did get sick, and y'all, I well, I got sick that Sunday night. Okay, so I wrote here, I don't feel good. Okay, Monday I was trying to make myself feel good, but eventually I was just like, yeah, I can't do work. I'm gonna have to go be at home like content creation filming and all that yeah not happening okay tuesday i was able to like kind of like text my sister <laughs> pick out some gifts and stuff because we had our holiday party with my husband actually he helped a lot with a lot of this stuff that i had going on for the week so normally if i was able to check it off it was either because he did it or i was able to find a way to do it but I put rest and hydrate. Wow, I think I have the flu. Like, I wrote that note in here, y'all. Oh, I rebuked the flu in the name of Jesus, okay? And then we had our house church party, but I didn't get to go. So my husband went by himself, and he filmed, like, some clips for me so I could be involved. And he actually played my gift so I could um, participate in some way. And But most of it was rest. He actually, I had prepped the food for the party because that was... I was supposed to, we were supposed to bring, we did like a potluck and we're supposed to bring like our favorite dish or like a favorite dish, but he had to cook the meatballs <laughs> that, well, that's one thing he likes to cook. So he, we chose meatballs cause it was simple and easy, something he could do. 
and everything um, to put together for the group. And I, yeah, all of this stuff that I had wrote down, it, it didn't happen, okay? It did not happen. So for the second part of the week, by Friday though, you guys, I had, I was feeling a little bit, just a little bit better. Um, I wasn't a hundred percent, but I was feeling better enough to get out the house and like, I was craving putting on some clothes and like jazzing myself up a little bit. Cause I just feel like I had been in bed for four days. Okay. Literally four days. And so I just was ready to go. And thankfully, because um that saturday it was my best friend's i mean that friday was my best friend's birthday so by saturday i was good to get up and go to dinner with her and you guys we went to this amazing restaurant in the jackson metro area um called co Esler prime and it was so good i had um the lamb and it was delicious or whatever and so that was a great experience it was just it was nice to get out be with my girls you know get cute like i was craving it okay so that happened i did have a meeting though that friday too so i was able to do that and then by that sunday i was just feeling so much better and everything um but we did we decided to not go to church um so we watched church at home and what i mean by watch church like you know how you can watch church online well my church does this series where they do like at the movies and we do what they did like a christmas movie and they kind of incorporated the message with the christmas movie and so that was really fun and we watched that and then our little baby niece she had a um, it's one of my friend's daughters that we call her kids, like our little nieces. Um, she had a birthday and her birthday party. She's turning 13. So we went to her birthday party and it was really cute. It was at an ice cream parlor. So that was really fun. Okay. And, and I think this is the week that I was able to put up. No, it wasn't the week. I was supposed to. I did get to go to Hobby Lobby and got my husband to get some gift wrapping cards, but I, I didn't do it till the next week, I think. Okay, so for the next week, you guys, I used the Amber Plains Her Day Christmas Essential Sticker Book, and I wanted to use these little houses, okay? So this is like the North Pole Village, but when I first saw them, I wanted to make it be Grinch, like the Grinch Village, but by the time I got ready to do the spread, considering that i was a whole week off I felt like behind and in trying to have things done and prep I didn't get to do a lot of like the holiday stuff that I wanted to do this season like I wanted to bake and do a bunch of things you know Christmas stuff but that didn't happen and one of the things that I wanted to do with this spread was print out the characters from um, the Grinch go find me some stickers because I figured that there was some Grinch stickers somewhere okay like some Cindy Lou like I needed the characters I needed the Grinch so I can kind of make this happen that didn't happen so i just decided to scatter these little houses all over and make some clusters and just make myself a little village and i used the new happy planner um colorful boxes mega sticker book and i found like these little whimsical wiggly wa uh, washi tape strips and i pulled in a lot of the boxes and things from my mega colorful boxes or boxes happy planner books and that was it you guys that was pretty much all i could really muster up i pulled a couple of quotes from the amber plans her day christmas essential sticker book and we just got to planning okay so we went to my nephew's uh christmas program y'all and it was bilingual it was so cute okay so cute the little the little first graders are precious they are hands down precious okay so we really enjoyed that um it was my niecey poo's birthday what else did i do oh um we went to a home going celebration um and it's actually my niece's grandfather um I, I love him i love their entire family okay i love their entire family it's basically like my family too and I just love them and I don't know it was it was a celebration though because uh, he was definitely a great example for me personally growing up in child in my childhood his wife is one of the women that I just definitely look up to I always have I love her to pieces and so it was um 
it was a great day to celebrate his life and everything because we just he was he was a great man just a great man a great man of god and love 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 their family and so not gonna tear up though but it was a beautiful celebration and then i got to hang out with some of my other friends and stuff because this was also christmas week so after we left the home going celebration we kind of made our rounds got to go see my granddaughter not my granddaughter y'all my goddaughter and everything and then got to go see some more of our friends that kind of came into town for the christmas holidays that we don't get to see as often because they live out of state and stuff and then we went to see christmas lights as well and prepping for christmas y'all i did like a bunch of christmas shopping this week too because i was behind y'all i was behind so i had to catch up and get all my christmas shopping done i did finish though i finished by the 21st okay so i felt good about that i finished by the 21st and i wrapped a whole bunch of them that night and my husband finished it off on that friday so we we were okay okay we we made it in time a couple of days before christmas anyway um but yeah that was the week you guys it was just really trying to catch up from life and do all the things and then to the last spread of the year y'all this was christmas week going into the new year and i used the keliva plan christmas florals just a traditional red and green spread paired it with some planet theme washi my favorite washi and i brought it to life with these wrong wrong dolls y'all feel like i use wrong wrong all month and boom and some chris i had a christmas quote some christmas quotes from kill of a plan as well and just a couple of y'all know how i like to do my icons and things and so this was christmas so for christmas day watch a football game and we took family pictures and of course we ate food like ate good and stuff and I, with this time we spent christmas with my husband's family and so that was really nice we had fun and we went to see the lights downtown when we came home because we actually came back home on christmas day like that evening and then we tried to get back to it on um, by tuesday okay because we got to prep for 2024 it was coming soon okay at this point so it was like we gotta you know prep and so i was trying to get stuff done i had to go to the bank and make run errands and i needed to definitely catch up on my content y'all like majorly catch up like i was so far behind i had so much i hadn't put out my planner set up yet at this point and i had intentions y'all the week that i got sick that's when my planner set up was supposed to go up okay but it worked out because i kind of was still on the fence about one planner and i teeter-tottered about it had to figure it out do i want to use the fitness or do i want to use the meal planner so that was the whole thing but it, it worked out i guess you could say um but it's up now so y'all go check that out if y'all haven't and then we have i had a nail appointment but i actually missed it <laughs> because by this time you guys my husband started to not feel good and i was like trying my best to not give him what i got but i think maybe his was something different because it delayed a while and then his did not last as long as mine so thank god for that okay and then i was trying to reschedule i actually had to do a walk-in for my nails and that's when i got these this look and this is a bubble bath with chrome just in case y'all are wondering okay the opi bubble bath dip powder with chrome and it was one of my friend's birthdays and we went out to dinner for her and then it was new year's eve okay so because my husband wasn't feeling well a hundred percent we didn't want to risk it so we kind of canceled all our, we had plans to go to memphis y'all and it's fun i'm gonna tell y'all this funny story before, well not funny story but it's a cute little story so 15 years ago um exactly from December 31st um my husband um proposed to me in Memphis Tennessee downtown that it was their first year doing the guitar drop and I had been talking about it all the time and I wanted to go so bad so he took me to the guitar drop and all the time he had it up his sleeve to propose to me y'all so we wanted to go to Memphis um to like 15 years later you know like reiterate that i guess you could say or re like live that a little bit but because he wasn't feeling good like this first part we didn't know how 
he was gonna be we didn't know if he was gonna be like me so we canceled everything um, that we had planned and so now we're just gonna go to Memphis we're gonna go to Memphis at some point and this was also y'all I've been putting out my studio like y'all know we moved into a new house and I've been trying to get my um you know creative space where I film and store all of my planner stuff and you know all the things I've been trying to get it together, but I really want to get some things from Ikea. And Memphis is the closest Ikea to me. And this was going to be the week that I went to do that. <laughs> and we didn't go. So now I still got to go to Ikea, okay? And I just feel like it's 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 going gonna, it's gonna to work out. So I've been working with a not-so-cute setup, but we're going to fix that in 2024. So, yeah, but we ended up, he ended up feeling better. So we were able to get out the house um, and at least go see some fireworks and stuff. So that was really fun. My Our city always does like this big thing for New Year's Eve anyway. So, I mean, we still had something to do. And then we also always have like the Mississippi Gulf Coast. If y'all, uh, y'all have probably heard of Biloxi. So, and I mean, that's not far from us. So that is my 2023 quarter four for live through y'all. It was definitely eventful, okay? Eventful. So, some things that I learned that I definitely want to take into consideration going forward is I love trying out the different fronts. And I think for me, I want to grow in this area. I want to use more color. And I think that my paper may flare or like the thicker pens are going to help me incorporate more colored pen into my spreads. Um, I feel like also something that I learned is to um, expand, expand a little bit because as y'all can see, I did a lot of center things this time around. I did do some other designs, but I did a lot of center things and a lot of clusters. So I want to try some other, you know, designs and maybe do like big clusters, some bigger clusters um, in my planner. And that, that always depends on the week too, like what I got going on. So in my head and stuff, but I tried to like mix it up. And then y'all, I got away this time in the, uh, this quarter in my planner from using scrapbook paper. I didn't use quite as much. I mean, I had that one spread where I kind of used like faux scrapbook with that tear and the, the Christmas spread. However, I want to get back to using that. And then y'all want to do some stamping and like maybe some watercoloring. In my planner I gotta figure that out like how I want to bring that to the you know the plans and everything and so um, those are some things that I definitely learned and I want to take away from this quarter um, I really really just love my planner I it helps me keep my life together I enjoy planning and so the fact that I still have that feeling and I still enjoy it I know it's essential it's essential. It's a great, it's a big part of my life um, as far as something I really enjoy and love doing. And so, yeah, this quarter was great, you guys. I just feel like I had a lot of good spreads that I enjoyed. I love the silhouette look, like, just so, I don't have to do that again. I don't know how I'm going to do it again, but I'm, I'm going to have to keep that in the back of my mind of, you know, things that I can do and everything and y'all I want to encourage you to definitely flip through your planners because it will also encourage you and remind you of things that you did and that you loved before and things that you've done in the past and it, it will definitely help you grow in your creativity as well as it'll help you develop your style as you guys can see I feel like I have a style now like a a specific style like my style of planning and that has come over time that has come from planning for so many years and it has evolved you know and I'm always flexible with it your style can change I don't always have to use like horizontal layout I like to try other planner layouts as well it's just the horizontal is my bread and butter it's my tried and true it don't it don't it do me right okay it do me right and you know when you find something that do you right you buy it in every color and I'll be literally trying to get these horizontal planners in every color okay so bestie <laughs> i want to thank all of you so so much for watching i want to thank you for always being so kind and so supportive of my content i hope this flip through has inspired you i hope that you have enjoyed it i hope you've learned something or saw something that i may have done in my planner that you want to try in your planner and um definitely comment below some things that you're learning in your planner journey i would love to see and communicate back with you and connect with you on how we can just grow together just different things that you're using or you want to use 
please. I would love to hear that. And also some things that you may be working on or that you're learning. I'm currently just trying to learn more fonts and also, I really want to learn how to truly hand letter. I can faux hand letter my tail off, okay? I can faux hand letter. I've been doing that since the eighth grade. <laughs> but I want to learn how to really truly, and I've bought all these pens, and I just got to practice, y'all. I got to take my own advice and practice. But, Bessie, that is it for this video. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for always being so sweet and so kind. Please like this video and definitely comment below. And subscribe, Bessie. Subscribe. 2024 is going to be an amazing year, okay? We're claiming it. We're speaking it. We're putting it in the atmosphere. Great things are happening in 2024. And I would love for you to be a Bessie so we can share and we can connect with each other. As always, I love you guys. And yeah, until next time, bye!